Well, the recent balloon sightings over North America have sparked a lot of new buzz about UFOs. In fact, this weekend, the commander of the Pentagon's Northern Command would not rule out the possibility that they could be connected to extraterrestrials. 75 years ago, an unidentified flying object was reportedly seen over Franklin, Kentucky, and a decorated pilot with the Kentucky Air National Guard died trying to investigate it. January 7, 1948, over Kentucky, Captain Thomas F. Mantell Jr. was on a training flight when he received an order to investigate an unidentified flying object. He spotted it and described it as a large metallic object that was glowing. Uh, at one point, he supposedly told his other guys to go back and get some heat. Dr. James Henry Snyder runs the Simpson County Historical Society in Franklin, Kentucky. He's been fascinated with what Mantell saw in the sky that day. One person said, well, they heard him say that uh, he, he saw uh, some type of life inside it, but they never proved that that really happened. And we'll never know either. Mantell died when his plane crashed in an open field. This blue plaque now honoring the man. After the crash, the military came out and said that Mantell flew too high, lost oxygen, and crashed. But for Snyder, this event is so different from other UFO sightings. The things about this particular incident is it was an official sighting. It was not some quack out in the field that said, I saw a flying saucer. The control tower at Ar uh, Goddard Army Airfield at Fort Knox actually spotted it. According to Snyder, the military released very little information, but did say that Mantell could have been flying toward a weather balloon or even the planet Venus. But the government never makes any intergalactic connection. He saw something that he thought was a threat, and he didn't think it was a weather balloon. And he knew it wasn't. A, I think he knew it wasn't a, a planet. So, you know, it very likely, you know, I wouldn't want to bet on it, but it very likely could have been something else from who knows where. Pretty interesting for the 75th anniversary of this event. Lawmakers and Mantel's family honored him. And we're going to have more on that part of this story coming up in our 5 o'clock newscast.